Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon and Basil aim for the sky, riding up those big, tall dunes. Dealer, I can see it here. So we're gonna we're gonna call in and see what they've got. Hopefully they can help. I came to actually get a tyre, and they don't have um, a tyre that's really suitable, but they have some off-road tyres. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, looking at the tyre. It's uh, it's getting pretty low. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy an off-road tyre, I'm going to strap it on the bike somewhere. Uh, I don't really like carrying tyres but I'd rather do that than, uh, I'd rather do that and have a tyre spare just in case uh, than, than run out of tyre in the middle of the dunes or somewhere. So let me try and explain what's happened here. So the clutch, this clutch disc friction plate touches the pressure plate here, but you can see there's a groove all the way around the pressure plate. This pressure plate's done, yeah, I don't know, 100 and, well, many, many hundreds of kilometers, thousands of kilometers, and it's worn a groove around it. You can see the groove there, and there's a lip on the inside and the outside, and what's happening is that lip is now the depth of the the uh, the material on this friction plate so the metal part here is touching the pressure plate here so if we sit that in there you can see look it won't move because it's like stuck in the groove and what's happening it's actually touching metal to metal you see it's shiny on the inside there and that's causing a lot of uh, vibration the clutch is not slipping but obviously it's not good it's taking pressure away from the clutch it looks like Lyndon is going to use the lathe here to make some adjustments to the plate. <laughs> this brings up memories. I remember teaching him how to use machines and consider the backlash, but he picked it up pretty quick. Next job is this one, leaking seal on my brake master cylinder. See all the moisture around here. So we're just going to take it off and clean it because I don't have another one. See if we can make it last a little bit longer. That's a bit that I need to replace. And I don't have one. So clean it out. Put it back in, see if it can work. Oh, 
Okay, so here we are at uh, June Works. I've just spent the morning fixing Basil bike and hanging out with Benji here, who's trying to escape. Um, but I just want to say a huge thanks to these guys. Thank you for welcoming me and letting me use your tools and everything. Uh, Jan, Heidi, and Anya. Anya. Uh, so it's been huge help to me, and uh, we've got a tire, and now it's time to head north. So, Benji, you want to come? Let's get the new travel companion packed. Well, that's it. Basil's all tuned up. Let's get back out on the road. of Namibia, about halfway up Namibia, onto the Omaruru riverbed. Um, it's a massive riverbed. It's probably, I don't know, three or four hundred meters wide. Um, really soft sand. You can see, I can't imagine when this thing last had water in it, but uh, yeah, it's a huge, huge riverbed. And uh, we're going to cruise all the way up the riverbed, over hundred kilometers up to Exit at a place called Gris and get fuel there. These dried up riverbeds look cool from up here in the drone. to be wet. That's a bit of a surprise. Hopefully it's not too bad. It's just a little spot hopefully. Very wet and overgrown here. Obviously a lot of moisture hence the greenery. So, finished riding for today, uh, got the camp set up, as you can see behind me in a minute. Uh, just thought I'd give you a run through the sort of things that I check over on the bike on a night. You see I've got my tent up, all my gear inside my tent, and I've got Basil over here. Obviously we've got the fairing off because I keep my tools in here, behind this strap. So, take the tools out, put them on the seat. So. First thing that I do is check the oil. So to check the oil, uh, do it as soon as I get here you know, while the bike's warm. I just lean it over and get it level, make sure that it's at the top of the glass, uh, which it wasn't. So I've topped some up today and the uh, oil just goes in there. And for information, I keep my oil in this injury stand bag here. So this is a waterproof bag and all it's got in is oil and a rag. So that just stays on that side. Uh, next job is chain and sprockets. So check the chain tension. It was a little bit slack. So get my tools out, give it some uh, clack, 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 undo it, adjust the chain, blah, blah. You've seen that before, but adjust my chain. Uh, and then just give it a general once over. Uh, make sure and nothing's broken today, so nothing is fixing, but make sure we've got some uh, coolant. You can see it's swishing about in there. Coolant's good. And uh, yeah, that's it really. Just have a quick once over around the bike. Make sure nothing's loose.
So today, we're riding from White Lady Lodge to Ongongo. This reminds me of a place that I once was in Africa, in Mauritania, where the sand dunes came down to the riverbed. <laughs> awesome. Quick little selfie out here. What an amazing day. Just found this foil bag on the floor. I don't know what it's had in it. it smells like wine. It's a wine bag. But uh, I'm going to take it because I can use it for fuel. Just checked, it's not leaking. So I'll wash it out with some petrol tonight. Take that bad boy with me. That's my uh, that's my fuel bag right there. Look at them just hanging out, checking me out. There they go. So let's just talk a little bit about riding on your own in the desert. Um, <coughs> people always ask me, is it not dangerous? Well, it can be. And any time, you know, any one of us motorcyclists can have a silly little fall, injure yourself or break down. Um, but all you can do is be the best you can be prepared for it. Uh, carry some satellite communications so that you can get hold of somebody form of a messenger or a sat phone. Um, let people know where you're riding and how long you're going to be riding in that area for. And also be prepared to repair your bike, as many things as you can with you. You know, anything that could go wrong, uh, take every possible chance to be able to fix it so that you're not stranded. But it's absolutely essential just to take it steady and not go too crazy when you're out here on your own can enjoy the place more by riding slower. Uh, it gets a little bit tricky in soft sand because obviously you need to keep your speed up to not fall down. Uh, but generally I just cruise at this sort of pace. Sometimes I open it up and have a bit more fun depending on how close I am to civilization and how I'm feeling. to take my helmet off and share with you this wonderful oasis just riding down this riverbed. Um, palm trees, water in the bottom, animals everywhere, giraffes, elephants, um, springbok and I wanted to share how peaceful it is with you and how colourful it is and just show you where the bike is parked just on this track here. So lush all the desert to find this. Really cool. Next time on Races to Places. Very, very remote area and uh, I've tried to get some fuel, some petrol here and they don't have any so they're trying to negotiate with the houses that have got some uh, to get me some fuel. I need about 25 litres to fill up and take an extra 10 litres to get where I want to go. Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching my media and for all the great comments that I receive every single day, please keep them coming. 
I'm just going to share with you my Patreon page. Patreon is a membership based platform that gives creators like me the opportunity to continue cr to create the media that you love to watch. For just a few dollars a month, I can give you priority viewing, I can give you special features, informative posts about the things that you want to know. It creates a platform for interaction between you, the viewer, and me, the creator. Now, a few dollars a month might not seem like a lot to you, but for me, collectively, it makes a huge difference. So please check out the link at the bottom of the page, and I appreciate any contribution you can make to make my job sustainable. In return for that, I promise to keep creating great media that you love, dreaming up new projects, filming it and sharing it with you all. Thanks.